Welcome back, folks. This is going to be a pretty short and, I guess, bittersweet video. But, as you can guess from the title, this is going to be my last StarCraft video slash stream after today for quite a while. Until at least end of the month when the event drops and there's a new quest line. And I'll probably, from here on out, only be doing quest line videos and uploading those. I don't see the point of continuing to grace this game with any more publicity with how abysmal of a job the devs have been doing thus far. Their avarice seems to know no bounds, as made clear by the seasonal battle pass and how it's been handled up to this point. The only real reason to release a battle pass one month before the event, with no real means of progressing it aside from swiping your credit card, we're not even going to mention the minuscule amount of levels you can get doing dailies. It's not even worth mentioning. But the only reason to do something like that is just greed. Pure, unadulterated greed. I logged in earlier to do my dailies and I came to the realization that one of the biggest factors now as to why the game is losing players at this moment is the amount of people who swipe all the way through the battle pass immediately and then they just swipe to get all their gear plus 15 and sometimes arties depending on what the event is and what the, the perks are. These are. That's not the only problem. There's many other factors that contribute into the fact that we're losing a lot of players in this game between events, but that one is one of the big ones now, but not in the way you think. Most of y'all are going to expect me to say that the people who swipe are bad. They shouldn't be able to swipe and immediately get everything. I, I don't care about people who swipe. They're not in and of themselves the problem. The real problem here is that the seasonal battle pass dropped a month before the event, but the devs didn't foresee not putting a way to meaningfully level the battle pass in any sort of speed was going to be a problem. They, they, I don't know how they didn't see that it would be a problem if you let anyone who wants to buy their way to level 500 immediately and get all the perks, but everybody else has to wait and be throttled down to one level a day and nine to 10 levels every five days. Now, if they had given people a way to level the battle pass like they did in the winter event, where just going out doing your regular farming for materials so that you can get upgrades for your armor, your guns, things like that. If all of that gave you progress towards your battle pass, I wouldn't be making this video. I know some people would still complain this is an online game. There's always going to be people complain about something. From the majority of people I've talked to in game who either did or didn't swipe the battle pass, the consensus is they're not happy with this battle pass. Now, obviously people who swiped all the way to 500 are definitely more happy than everybody else because they're at least getting to reap the benefits now. And the problem, like I said, is not with people buying their way through the battle pass and then buying extra levels to get the unlimited spares and tools. The problem is everybody who doesn't do that, the gear gap has now widened with no means for the people who didn't swipe and are not going to swipe to close that gap for at least a month. And even when that month is up and the event drops and you're able to farm, you still have to farm for another month at least, most likely. I can't imagine the event being fast enough to farm that you're going to like blow through the battle pass within the first week and be at level 500. So I'm assuming you're going to have to farm the majority of those last two months to level your battle pass all the way up, which means you're not going to be able to take advantage of the unlimited spares and the unlimited tools from the end of the battle pass, those last five levels until almost the end of the battle pass. So the amount of time you have to actually take advantage of that is going to be very minimal compared to people who are already level 500 when the event drops. Because everything from then on for them is pure profit, be it with crates, unlimited spares, unlimited tools. It's just a win-win for them. I expressed these concerns in a couple of my last streams and people reached out to me and said that they were going to bring it up and that it seemed like a fair idea to make it to where the people who don't buy the battle pass are not being punished, which it feels like right now, but I haven't heard anything back. And since it's already the 10th of the month, when I'm recording this, I don't expect to. I expect for it to be just radio silence until the event drops. They're probably hoping that people just forget about the fact that we have nothing to do for a month if you're at end game, aside from log in for your dailies, and that's it. It seems apparent that whoever's in charge of making decisions for the game based on what they're doing, what route they're going, what they're changing, and things like that, it seems they're way more focused on squeezing the maximum amount of money they can out of the player base and not focusing on creating a game that is gonna have player retention and longevity. The way the game is going now, I don't see anyone aside from RU players because they, they've been playing this game for nine years and they have access to the full game. And Wales, I don't see anybody aside from those two groups playing this game in a year with the current path that they're going down. The way this seasonal battle pass has been handled so far after coming off the back end of a, a very well light model for the last event. Now, say what you will about being able to buy your way into the top 20, we're not talking about that. 
we're talking about the event itself being able to go out and farm the truce between the sub factions in the army warehouse and fool's path just regular activities of daily living in the game like going to farm armor and weapon barter mats and still making progress on the battle pass the event that you could get in with rudolph every two and a half hours whatever it was i can't i think it was two and a half hours that was great you didn't have to live inside the event for the full duration of the event to still level up the battle pass and it was fun that was the most fun event i've had as far as every other event dead man's marathon crows arena all of them the spring event they all started out fun but within three or four days the monotony and the repetitiveness of the actual event itself made it not as fun anymore i had fun through the whole winter event this event has taken the excitement and the anticipation i had for the the prospect of a seasonal battle pass being added to the game and pissed all over it I was excited to log in when I got the leak that there was going to be a seasonal battle pass. I bought the battle pass on four characters, two are you guys and my two global guys that I play, my covenant and my duty, because I was excited to actually play and level up the battle pass, what I assumed would be like the last time in the winter event by going out and farming stuff. I was like, I'm gonna go make the PKP. I can farm that gun up while making progress. I can level up guns while I'm doing that because I'll probably be getting spares from the battle pass. That was all immediately stripped away when I realized you are gated down to one level a day, 10 every five days if you don't swipe your card. And I came to the realization that this seasonal battle pass was catered to the part of the community that they know are going to swipe their way through it and just outright buy it because they don't want to put the time in, which I said before and I'll say again, it's fine. I don't have a problem with people who want to pay. That is 100% not a problem with me. I just feel like everybody else is being punished, like I stated earlier, because one level a day is asinine. It's it's not worth logging in for. It's really not. And once I realized that that was the case, I, I really haven't even been logging in and doing I'll, i log in for clan wars and i may log on to ru just to pvp a little bit out in open world but it really took the wind out of my sails and i didn't even want to log in for the dailies i just couldn't be bothered in the grand scheme of things not getting the 20 to 30 levels or however many it would be for the month before the event drops it was more worth it for me just not even do it that time could be better spent playing another game that is much better and the devs are not as monetarily predatory as the devs of this game are i think the thing that irritates me the most is the fact that i have over 3,000 hours in the game most of that 2800 ish hours being on global and the rest being on RU. This game has the potential to be such a good game, but with the current people in charge of the game, it never will be with the way they're they're going. I guess there's still a chance, but only time will tell. That being said, I, like I said at the beginning, I will still be making videos on any quests that come out, like quest guides, because the incompetence of the devs and the avarice of the devs isn't the player base's fault. So I shouldn't punish the player base by not continuing to do guides for the sins of the devs. So I will be making guides still if they come out with any new quests. I will probably not be doing any more streams at all of StarCraft. Even if it is an event coming on, I'll just make the quest guides and I probably won't do anything else with it. Because I've come to the realization that the devs and this game are not worth my time. And they're honestly not worth any of your times either. If you're not pulled in by the sunk cost fallacy already and you can break away, I honestly recommend everybody just quits playing this game obviously it's going to be harder for some people because they've already dumped a ton of money into the game or in my case a ton of time so i feel like i'm walking away from something that i've been doing for a long time which technically i have but the only thing that expo is going to actually respond to and listen to is if it hits their bottom line it's a sad truth of it but like i said if you can break away from the game i suggest just putting it down logging out and uninstalling it you'll be a happier person pioneers coming out in hopefully a couple of months and after that i may not touch stallcraft anymore aside from making quest videos if they come out with new quests i had originally planned on making a lot more of the guns after they finally get all the the balances done and everything and doing showcase videos again i'm not wasting my time on it the devs have proven that they don't value our time i don't think we should value them or their game but with that being said i hope you guys all have a good one and hopefully the devs get their shit together enough that they don't run this game into the ground and lose what small global player base they even have left so you guys take it easy and i will catch you all in the next one